Are you guys tired of boring and bland text? Well, look no further. I'm gonna show you guys how you can make some awesome looking text really quickly using whatever software you use, either Photoshop, PhotoP. This should apply to all of them if they have basic layer style features. So let's get right into it. So once you're at PhotoP, Photoshop, whatever, go ahead and make your project or you probably already have your project made. It doesn't really matter what size, we're just gonna add some text for the sake of the tutorial. So go ahead and get your text tool on the left side of the screen and click anywhere on your canvas. Type in your text, move it to the center. And if you want it to be bigger, double click on it, either type it in up here or hit Control, Alt and T and grab these boxes and scale it up. Hit that check mark once you're done. Now go ahead and double click on your text layer on the right and it should pull up the layer style menu. We're gonna start out with bevel and emboss. So go ahead and check that box and let's go inside of it. I leave pretty much all of these settings the same. I only change the angle to 90 degrees, which is essential, and the contour. Click this little drop down arrow and click the bottom right one. It should look like this. It's called Valley Low. That's the one we're going with. For the size, I went with nine. And for the depth, I went with 300. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add a inner glow to this. So go ahead and go to inner glow. Check that box. I'm gonna leave the blend mode as screen. I'm gonna change the opacity to 40. And I'm gonna click this color box right here and change it to pure white. Click okay. The spread, I went with 13 and the size 20. This pretty much adds like a reflection of light to it. You can see with it and without it, kind of adds some more uh, depth to it, I'd say. Now we have just two more layer styles we're gonna mess with. The next one is gradient overlay. Click on that. And I mean, okay, this actually looks pretty cool alone, but not part of the tutorial. So if you guys wanna stop here and use this text, that's cool too. So the only thing we're gonna be changing from the gradient overlay is the color. So click on the color box. Go ahead and click right under the middle of this to create a new box. Drag this one inward a little bit and this one as well. Now we're gonna start out with the far left one and change it to the brightest color of whatever you're going with. So if you're going with green, brightest green, I'm going with red, so the brightest red. And then a little bit of a darker version of that color you chose before. And then again, a bright red, maybe even a little bit darker. Now we are ready for the last layer style, which is 3D. So go ahead and go to your 3D box down here and check it. Now, what we're gonna change here is we're gonna change the angle to negative 90. We're gonna leave the opacity and the blend mode the same. Distance should be 27, shrink should be zero. I am actually gonna change the color to a darker red. So it looks like it's actually behind the text. Guys, I also forgot to mention, this is very important. Go into bevel and emboss and change this bottom one to 24. I almost forgot that and it made it look way too dark. Okay, so now click OK. Now this is the point of no return. So once you do this, you will not be able to edit your text anymore. So just remember that. Go ahead and right click on your text and click convert to smart object. Now it is just one whole piece and you cannot edit individual letters. For the final step, you want to go up to filter, filter gallery. And we're going to go with ink outlines you're just going to want to tweak these settings until you like it i went with something like kind of like this so like 17 8 and 24 and boom there it is i think it looks pretty cool now another little trick you guys can do is go up to filter lens correction and adjust the amount it might be a little bit laggy and it'll kind of uh make your text look even better click ok now also, if you go up to filter and click liquify, you can kind of have some fun with this and make it look absolutely insane by just dragging left click <laughs> like that. I think that looks pretty insane. So yeah, that's all you guys have to do to make text that looks really awesome just like this. If you guys want any more tutorials, leave down in the comments below what tutorials you want. And if you made it this far, type Mandarin orange. Actually, that's a little complex. Just type orange in the comments and I'll know that you made it this far in the video. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.